Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Starting a new custom campaign for StarCraft II. Do you remember Life Force? If you don't, I understand. Because I made videos for it eight years ago. Eight years ago was 2016. My goodness. Okay. Well, the creator Bilksor has returned and has fully released this campaign. It appears to be nine maps plus the launcher. The year is 2496, four years before the events of StarCraft. Congratulations, you've been promoted to the rank of Magistrate for the thriving Life Force Mercenary Corporation. To assist you, you've been assigned two advisors. Lara represents the cutting edge of artificial intelligence. Her analytical approach and wealth of encyclopedic data will serve you well. Decker is a hardened combat veteran of the Guild Wars known for his fiery determination and fearlessness. His keen battle sense will be valuable. Well, I see blue and red. I can only imagine this is Paragon Renegade, but let's let's see what this really means in mission. With vastly different motivations, backgrounds, and personalities, your advisors are sure to disagree at times. It's up to you to choose your actions and the consequences that come with them. Write your destiny wisely. I see. Okay. Well, we only have one mission. I was a little worried that my old bank data would somehow have uh, returned and had the first four missions unlocked. I think this was only four missions at the time, <clears throat> back when I played it. We're going to be starting completely fresh. Uh, as far as I know, these have all been overhauled. This was potentially the first mission that that really used bank data in a way that functioned as a meta currency that then impacted in-game stuff. So newer campaigns, like that uh, Crystal Shard Stepman campaign, does this really well. But Life Force was one of the first ones, if not the first one, that used that. And I've always said that something like that is what makes campaign progress feel like a campaign. So this was my favorite campaign for a long time. Again, it was only four missions, so I'm really excited to, to get back into it. Thank you, Bilksor. Without further ado, let's start. Welcome to your new rank, Magistrate. You come highly recommended. Your first mission is to investigate what happened to a team of scientists on the Force Moon of Genesis. The untamed wildlife has been recorded as highly aggressive, so stay alert. Genesis has an exceedingly ecliptical, elliptical, ecliptical, elliptical orbit pattern, causing its seasons to last centuries. A spring thaw is setting in for the first time in Caprillo history, drawing in droves of researchers to study what the glacial melt has revealed. The uncolonized planet is home to many vertebrate mammals, birds, and birds of varying degrees of intelligence. Alpine wilderness. Okay, all right. I vaguely remember this. There's little things about this campaign that I do remember. So, things different between then and now, I probably won't be able to point out. Clear the landing zone, establish area pruner with bunkers, explore the glacier. Okay. Mouse over for info, indeed. Specialized defensive unit has a minimum range of one and slow movement speed with very high rate of fire can be upgraded to be extremely powerful while in a bunker. Civics Hub provides supplies, it's a drop-up point for resources, and emits a healing pulse. I remember that. Scientists were studying the glacial melt on Genesis when their comms suddenly went dark. With the combinations of the deceptively cold alpine climate and aggressive local life, all scientists are presumed dead. Your mission is to reestablish a perimeter base for future research and find out what you can on the local species so this doesn't happen again. Whether the correct word is tribe or herd to describe these life forms is still up for debate. So of unknown intelligence. Cruising through the campaign. You'll have to have something that resembles a strategy. An unforgiving challenge for veterans. Requires innovative strategy, high APM, and a love of punishment. No thanks. I'm not even going to consider this in the available... Uh, difficulties, which means we go second from the hardest, which is hard, not brutal. Send me in. Landing sequence complete. What's wrong, Magistrate? You haven't seen a combat adjutant before? No, I have not. Unlike Confederacy tech, our armaments are neither mass-produced nor manufactured by the lowest bidder. Your commando squad is waiting. 
interesting. Don't worry, I'm only checking the girdle springs on these rifles for now. 109. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? Wait. Oh, he's still going. That's the number of planets in the Caprulu sector that have native life. Now guess how many have intelligent life. Zero. Just giant insects and disgusting critters. Is that all you got, universe? Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, nothing to mouse over. I mean, we don't have any points to spend, so send me in. Four guys, that's all you could spare, mercenary crew? Okay, uh... Sure. We're just kidding. It's just, it's just the normal wildlife. Why would we do such a thing? Just scare them away, we don't gotta shoot them. This is horrible. Okay, well, I guess it's what we gotta do, so that's... Oh, okay, never mind. Some of them are mean. Some of them are angry. Got a live one here. Those razor teeth are no match for Goss rifles. I'm on it. Yeah, big man killing small wildlife. Good job. Uh, is that it? We'll do. <clears throat> Ten four. That's fine. Orders received. Hang on. We have we have a small one down here. That was it. Okay, he was hiding out. Command center and civics hub. Landing zone clear. Incoming base infrastructure. Oh, you love to see it. Okay, give me a moment. Let's go ahead and start building stuff. We need to secure the area with a perimeter of bunkers. First, you'll need a barracks. Yeah, I... I've played the game. <laughs> I understand. It's fine. Uh, the Civic Sub provides 15 supply. It is a drop puff point for resources, like a command center, and emits a healing pulse that heals all nearby biological units. Very nice, and you can upgrade some basic stuff from there. Heal me, please? It, it's like every couple seconds it throws out a healing pulse I believe it's not like a steady rate yeah that's pretty good uh, let's go ahead and just get some your troops are hurt and stand near the civics hub to heal them up oh yeah I got gotcha. you so Bilksor has let me know that there are each mission has a micro and a macro piece to it so I might just split each video into or each mission into two just because together they, they might end up taking a bit long. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I've decided I want to do yet. Let's just move this a little bit. Okay, now that those things are still attacking us. Bullet-based weapons. You love to see it. Okay. So we're going to need bunkers at each ramp. We need three bunkers total. Maybe we'll go for four just to ensure that we have enough. I figured the sooner we can get these upgrades, the better. Ah, uh, sir. So I heard something getting attacked, but it was like just barely hidden behind the flipping thing. So the com the enforcers are what do well inside the bunker. So that's what we want to put inside the bunkers. But for now, I'm not, I'm not as concerned about that. Let's just go ahead and set up a bunker down here. Get a few more SCVs saturating this. As long as we're sitting near the Civic Sub, this is all good. Um, one of them might come from that ramp and destroy that SCV. We'll see. I'm going to hydrate. All right. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. It's about 16 SCVs. This is pretty low field, though, so maybe... 14 or 15 SCVs is going to be full saturation while we get these basic upgrades here as well. The tech reactor is going to be really valuable. The sooner we can get some enforcers, the better. Seems like this is really the direction they're coming from. So we want to get some enforcers and put them in these bunkers and then eventually want to get the enforcer upgrades. I think the sooner we can get a few units out to put inside these bunkers, the better. And it seems like they're primarily attacking from this ramp and not the other one, but... I would expect both, truthfully, so. Oh, I see. It's actually building the bunkers out out here. It's not actually to defend the base, but that's fine. We, I mean, we're going to do both. Okay, just keep getting 
Unit upgrades. Upgrade complete. And then we'll get a second orders. barracks, and we'll we'll be moving out shortly. Ready to roll. Increases the max range by one. Attack speed by forty when inside a bunker. Also reduces the minimum range. So we really need that upgrade as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and grab a supply depot. It's looking like, <coughs> excuse me, we didn't necessarily need this down here, but they could come from either direction. So we, I think we want enforcers inside these bunkers. That's going to be way more valuable. Structure armor, of course, and then we just get an army of infor uh, commandos. We can bring some enforcers with us to put inside the bunkers that we set up just because it makes bunkers that much more valuable. I really like the idea of a unit that is particularly good pretty much exclusively from inside a bunker. Complete. It's a, it's an interesting idea. Base is under attack. Okay, they are coming from both directions. And you know your boy needs structure armor. That's a that's a thing we're gonna need. Not my bunker! Almost. Okay, enforcer thing. Mounted tripods. Not enough minerals. And we do see the uh, the attacks becoming larger. Go ahead. That's what I get for thinking, oh, that they won't attack down here anymore. But that's fine. And as we move away from our base towards these buildable areas, that, in theory, will stop the enemies from making their way to our actual structures here. <laughs> that's right. He's got a minimum range. We'll head on over here. I'm going to move this probably over there instead. Okay, and we're chilling near the okay. Civics Hub. That thing's getting repaired. Fire suppression systems would also be pretty good. Let's keep getting a few more SCVs, and then let's get a, a commando for complete. over here. Or an enforcer, excuse me. And then how much are just our normal commandos? 200. I mean, they are good units, to be super clear. They are very, very good units. So the question is, is one enforcer in each of these bunkers enough? It's feeling like probably. Every commando gets a single RPG. Vita pack to heal over time it seems incredibly valuable. <clears throat> I think we're going to want that. So the big thing here is just the cost of our the cost of our units. Like, we don't really want to leave our base until we feel comfortable that we can do so without um, without losing everything along the way, if that makes sense. Like, it's incredibly important that we don't throw our units away because it's going to be very, very costly to rebuild them. So this is why I'm, I'm pretty much just going to get all of my upgrades before we leave the base. Um, Vitapack seems really, really good. Stimpack, obviously really good. To heal 100% of their life over 18 seconds, but it's canceled by taking damage. So it's like an out-of-combat heal, and it isn't canceled by stim pack usage. I like to, to see that. Now, I will grab Neo Steel Frame as well, and then all of these will need over time. The thing is, if I don't need to fill up both of these entirely with Enforcers, I won't. Okay. We also okay. might be able to just move out, and when we build a bunker here, that will catch the, the Lyotes? Lyotes? I'm not really sure. Uh, on their way to us, which seems like it would be really valuable. 140, 125. The rockets also seem like they would be good, maybe for the the micro section though. So I think I'll, I think I'll hold off and probably just grab Vita packs. Okay, I think that's probably everything we want. Maximum life of SUVs. Mm, I mean, doesn't seem like we would absolutely need that. I think our economy's looking good, so let's go ahead and just start making some commandos. And what I'm thinking is, if we can find where the Lyotes are coming from, then we just unload these enforcers and move them into the bunkers we build further up, rather than building more enforcers. Like, inevitably, I'll probably build more enforcers, to be to be fair. But, um... Been waiting on you. If we have some that are unnecessary in bunkers. We want to move them up. So yeah, stim pack, the underbarrel RPG. You gonna give me orders? It says all enemy ground units. I might quick save and make sure that once I have that, it doesn't kill my own 
Research units. Complete. I like how the Neo Steel frame seems to just raise the ceiling of the bunker. You know what I mean? That's all that's all they really needed. Okay, wait, maybe one more SCV here. By the numbers, boys. So I'm gonna wait for these two upgrades specifically. Fire suppressor is gonna feel pretty good because we have to build these bunkers kind of further out anyway. Again, the sooner we can get out of our base, the better. It's just I'm I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant for probably good reason. Leaning towards maybe going to the left. Fragile defensive infantry. So the thing with <laughs> with these. What's eating at you? Increased attack speed by 40%. So yeah, these just don't seem that valuable outside of bunkers, but we might want to bring some with us just so that we're, we can load up bunkers as we build them. That's probably going to be the way to go. I feel like we probably have enough. I'll build, I'll build two more. Never mind, we're going to build one more. Never mind, we'll wait so we can build two more. Let's grab fire suppressors. Let's just grab let's just grab all of our upgrades. There's no reason not to. These Research attacks seem complete. reasonable to deal with right now. So we'll grab two more commandos, and then this will be my group that moves out. A solid StarCraft Brood War uh, control group of twelve. This be good. And then with Vita Packs, we're cooking with gas. How much gas in here? Enough that we can get the under barrel rockets. So we don't have easy healing. All of our healing is meticulously microed. So that's something we have to be very, very cautious of. And it's something that we really can only do when we're out of combat. I mean, you can do it in combat. It's just how well are we able to control our units to stay on top of it. So let's move out and see if maybe we can find where the Lyotes are spawning from. Of course. Which would allow us to kind of bottle them up. Definitely looking like it would have been valuable if we would have moved out earlier. Poor saps can't be saved now. Their resources are better off with us. So what's the cooldown on Vitapack? It's 80 seconds. So, like, for example, we do that. Kind of silly. We didn't need to do that, but that's, you know. Safe escort. Sending in forces or SCVs alone to bunker locations leaves them vulnerable to attack. Accompany them with a team of commandos to ensure safe passage. Base is under attack. Okay, so here's the Research question. Complete. Do those Lyotes spawn from somewhere else, or is this the thing? And I also wonder, is when, it, when it's saying, like, you got to escort the SCVs, is it basically saying um, units will spawn to kill them if you're not careful? I This is what I am not sure of. And then this one's way back there. I can only imagine they come up and around and are attacking from this angle. So we got to keep this loaded up, and then we're going to take these enforcers and this SCV. Is under attack. And I'm going to go ahead and get another enforcer in this bunker. Because the bigger Lyotes seem like they could be a problem. Ready to roll. What's eating at you? Okay, yeah, these are, these are quite slow. Research complete. Yes, sir. So again, the, the real question is, uh, will Lyote spawn? Because it's like, there's a commando in this general area, therefore spawn a bunch of units to come and kill you. Let's go ahead and throw another SCV to repair here. We don't need as many on this area. We're going to get another enforcer in here anyway. All right, let's go. Feeling like a reasonable start. I mean, I did... Uh, I feel like I did probably take a, a bit longer than I than I needed to, but that's all right. Okay, so we're going to sit here. You guys sit here, and then we're going to build this bunker. And yes, they are spawning from this area, so we're going to Vita Pack all of our wounded Marines. Probably want to move them to the back in that case, because number one, we don't want them to cancel their healing, and number two, we... Uh, should I salvage this? I mean, I don't have units back here, yes, so we might as well. Exhausted. In the rear with the gear. Okay, here and here. We're going to bring these with us. And then we're going to need six Additional enforcers, which is required. no joke. 
it's possible this is going to increase the number of enemy attacks coming our way too. So, um, I wanted to start getting commandos built up. Now, three commando or three enforcers in these bunkers feels like it should be enough. The real question is, should I build more? Local glacial melt from from the north has left this path blocked. Let's check back later. All right. So we leave two SCVs here. We follow. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we, we can afford six, so I'll build six. And then let's take my group of Marines, commandos, excuse me. And we can circle our way up and around. In theory, this all connects, so we can clear out both pathways, and then by that Base time, our enforcer should be done. We can grab additional SCVs, Base and we'll be good to go. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. Of course. Okay, and then they can repair each yes, other, sir. so... Two SCVs per bunker, full of commandos, seems more than reasonable. 12 commandos feeling very solid. We also have the RPGs if we want to use them. That's fine. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, we, we have to... Uh, for science, we absolutely must do this. It does not do friendly fire. Okay, this is just about done. I guess we're going to leave this bunker here. Or, I mean, I can cancel these before it's too late. And then let's... um. We can come back for more later. So let's grab some more SCVs. Follow. And then you guys. Follow. We're going to go to the upper left. And then meanwhile, we still have... We got to wait for these guys to catch up, though. We still have the fully loaded bunker at our front. Because they're still going to be spawning from the bottom right. Gangway. Coming. Move this guy away. We Vita Pack. Put him in the back because he's on cooldown, and we don't want his Vita Pack getting canceled. It's a lot of little things, I suppose, that you want to consider. Um, there are also secrets on every map. The question is, how secret are said secrets? Right? Because that could be fun to look for, or it could be nightmarish. You just don't know. Of course. Uh, we'll get a sense. I'm sure this first one yes, won't sir. be too crazy. So, do this. What's eating at you? What's going on? And we do attack. this. Yeah. So, fully loaded bunker with two SCVs. Seems like it should be enough Base per entrance. Mineral field depleted. See it. So we've got all the SCVs with us. We've got. We need to pull two enforcers from the other bunker, which is fine. We'll have them come up and meet us. I guess it couldn't have hurt to just build them. <laughs> okay, load in. SCVs, you are now here. Let's see if this is just a circle. That way we can grab our enforcers and come and meet our units. Because we can kind of bottle up where the Lyotes come from. It's looking like that is the case. Okay, let's chill here. And then we bring these two enforcers up. Am I missing? Did I leave one behind? I did leave one behind. And they don't have Vita Packs. <laughs> Get away! Okay, this is my escort group. This is my commando group. All seems well with the world, so let's head this way. Let me just check over here. Again, we're looking for secrets. Though I can't really afford to go way out of my way like this. Because uh, we do need to bottle up where the enemy comes from, right? So let's maybe take a, a smaller group like this. And look over here, again, because we're looking for secrets, vague secrets. Could be anywhere. Could also be on the micro section of the map. I don't know. 
This healing, I feel like, could become tedious. It really could. If it's just, like, tiny, tiny path through trees, I'd be... I would be a little sad, but I'm feeling like that's probably not going to be the case. Okay, you can't walk over the... The water. These seem fine. Affirmative. Vita pack. By the numbers, boys. You got it. Using offensive civics hubs Order seems seat. like it would be cool too. Go, go, go. Let's do this. You guys I'm chill. Listening. Build this bunker. Bad news. This better be good. Okay, I think we got yes, we sir. have things under control now. Let's double check over here. Oh, yeah. Base is under attack. Sure. Base is under attack. No, nothing. Okay. Fight a pack. Okay, that's getting hit kind of hard, but we're just about done. By the numbers, you shy? Well done. Now keep the beasts back. They're going for one final push. Okay, that's fine. We're going to take four commandos. Move them up here. Take four commandos. Move them up here. And we're just gonna hope. And I'll build more enforcers in case I, you know, in case we need to essentially fall back to our base. But I think we have to keep the bunkers alive. It seems to me like the bunkers have to live. Otherwise, it's, you know, pointless. Kill this one. Base is under attack. I think having pulled uh, two SCVs for each bunker, we should be okay. This is definitely... This could be something where, like, if you lose now, it would be a little bit of a bummer. I assume, though, it just restarts the timer. I would hope. I would hope it's just like, okay, no problem, just... Yeah, redo that timer. It looks like they actually did send some units back to my base, so I'm glad I kept base this bunker alive. I didn't even think about... I just assumed I had overbuilt one enforcer, base not that this was actually going to be under threat. This better be good. Mineral okay, you hop on over here. Okay, we got two SCVs on every single bunker. We have every upgrade available to us, base I think. Is under attack. Yeah, I don't have anything extra. Base is under attack. Oh, you can only have one civics hub. So, offensive civics hubs are a thing that can exist. Base is under attack. Okay. Base is under attack. I think with the co extra commandos at each choke point, we should be okay. I mean, I could just build another bunker at every single entrance, too. It's unclear where ones are spawning to get here. Base is under attack. Two minute twelve. I mean, I'll quick save. I will once again hydrate. Base is under attack. I could also use rockets. That's a thing. Um, having Field to keep track completed. of... Well, three entrances, kind of four, but pretty much three. This be good. Can be a little spooky. The numbers, boys. And Base I do, I, one attack. thing I do remember is your upgrades from the macro section Base carry into the micro attack. section. There's not like a consistent, like, micro tech that you get. So if you don't research the rockets before the micro section, then you just don't have them. It's not like, there's not like a consistent layering that would be like, okay, everyone gets rockets for the micro section, whether you research them or not. No, 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 no. So we want to make sure that we uh, that we upgrade everything we can before we go into each mission's micro section. So I'm leaning towards maybe releasing two per week, and by two I mean two videos a week, which would mean um, which would mean one um, one full mission a week, because um, they're pretty long according to the creator. We'll see though. I mean, obviously, if we're done with this in about 30 minutes, and then there's a 30 minute um, micro 
micro section, then like, yeah, that could be one video, but I just want to have some consistency and also be able to plan my recording se sessions a little bit better. One thing that I've always struggled with in the, you know, decade plus that I've been doing this is just um, being able to plan appropriately for how much time in a day I want to spend recording. And sometimes missions that I get kind of bothered by are ones that are unexpected in terms of length, which is not even really the fault of the mission. It's just my fault for inappropriately planning. So that's why I'm thinking like, look, based on my previous Base videos lengths, like I've played Odyssey missions for an hour and 45 Remote minutes, right? Depleted. And it's more just, I'm Base not saying there's going to be consistency attack. across Remote series, but for depleted. this series, plan is number one, we're going to rock it. And then number two, uh, we're going to rock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just keep the macro and the micro split across Base two different videos. That attack. seems that seems reasonable. And who knows, maybe one of those sections will take quite long, and I'll just try and keep it consistent. That's it, Magistrate. The herd has been thinned. Any stragglers have either been cut, have either cut and run, or will end up target practice. Base is under attack. It seems like they're still attacking us. Now let's see what's creeping around this northern glacier. We've located a resource Base cluster as well. Attack. Okay, Civics Hub, you're coming with us? Got a ways to go. Let's go ahead and move up with everybody. Invite a pack. Um, well, we're still defended at home. I guess let's go ahead and just do something like this. And then we can move these SCVs up. Hello, sir? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> so it seems like they will still attack us, but only a little bit. Base is under attack. So maybe let's wait for everyone to show up here. Go ahead. Maybe just the large ones don't attack anymore. This I'm not so sure. Okay, Ursadons. I saw the Ursadons. Of course. Can't wait. I'm on it. So here's a question. Why not? How strong are the Ursadons going to be? Orders oh, hello. That's a pretty substantial set of pickups, which is appropriate oh, considering oh. we are entering a oh, new yeah. section of the map. Okay, we can live. The local primates seem highly territorial. Let's level off that population growth. Wipe out 50 of them just to be sure. Kill 50 yetis. Okay, let's just focus fire here. I think 12, I mean, 12 command, I should, I don't, that's exactly the situation where I instinctively hit Vitapack, but it is the wrong choice. What I would like to do is circle around and find the place for my base. Okay, and then we Vitapack. I could be Stimpacking as well. Okay, let's get to our buildings and then escort them. And I shouldn't be so afraid of losing a unit. It really wouldn't be that big of a problem if I lost a single unit. But <laughs> obviously, um, you know, we've got 4,300 minerals. I think we're okay. Sure thing. Base is under attack. It's interesting, too, behind all of this, how the Lyotes are, are still attacking us. Uh, so it's important we keep that stuff defended up. And then similarly, we can just go ahead and make another big group of commandos. Is under attack. Right, that's just another group of 12. It'll take them a while to get up here. But when they do, we'll be in great shape. Go ahead and land here. Been waiting on you. And then let's go ahead and move our SCVs up. And it looks like they will at the the Yetis, not Ursadon, but the Yetis will attack this base. So we probably want the Civics Hub. I guess we could have just expanded with only the Civics Hub. Oh, that's not good. You guys move back and move back. 
Enemies are under attack. Yeah, getting getting reinforcements up here is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Big job, huh? Bad news. Okay, I see. This better be Base <laughs> is under attack. So maybe we do want to fly our barracks up here. Base is under attack. So we need just a bunker at each choke point, really, and then we should be okay. Base is under Let's go ahead and sit by the Roger. Civics Hub. Some units will make it up and some units won't. Go ahead and sit by the Civics Hub, please. And this is one where I don't think we're going to be able to get uh, enforcers all the way up here. I could build another barracks. Base is under attack. But there's not much room elsewhere. Yeah, this stuff's all fine. It doesn't seem like this is needed anymore. It's just, you know, getting up here would be is a challenge with everybody. So um, we built six additional uh, commandos so we can toss them in these bunkers. We do something like this and then we build two enforcers once this barracks is done. But this should be... I feel like this is enough. <clears throat> we just need more, even more units. Now, do we just want to float the barracks up here? We could also just sit here and let the the yetis attack into us. Base Couple different attack. options here. Okay, good work. Ultimately, it feels like I probably could have done a lot of this a little bit faster than I did. I don't actually even know if I need to defend this area anymore because it seems like they just sort of wander into my structures. So, if they're doing that, then what need is there for me to diligently base set up more defense? We just needed to kill the ones that were patrolling through that base area, which now that we've done that, seems like, you know, less of a problem. Anyway, this group seems large enough now. And we'll go ahead and flesh it out just a little bit more. Now, I could actually, I could probably... is under attack. So what are we at? 15, and we want to get up to 24-ish. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not enough minerals. Oh no, they're still they're still going to attack us over here. Toss an enforcer in there. I mean, these just have a lot of health. They do, they do little damage. It almost feels like I'm playing Warcraft 3 with the way that this damage is working. We Vita Pack. That probably wasn't the best usage of that. Load up in there. Base is under attack. And then we grab one more commando up here that we couldn't afford previously. Armed and ready. So, now let's continue exploring. They, they're definitely coming from off the map. Yes, sir. Uh, just a larger group of units really couldn't hurt. Base That's I, I'll say attack. that. We definitely it, it really wouldn't hurt to just have a larger group of units here. You can sit over here. Now with the commando in there too, we should be good. Uh, they're fast enough; they should be able to to live. Some of them, it's like you might as well use the rockets before they die, right? We just vita pack across the board. Oh, I guess that we killed enough. I didn't even explore that much at all. They're all running for this cave. We got them trapped now. Checkmate, apes. Further human presence would be safest if we made sure the yetis didn't nest within. Let's set a nuke in there and glass that cave. Only way to be sure. A safer alternative is to set up an irradiating gas bomb and flush them out. Gas bomb? It's going to take more than some dinky stink bomb to get the job done. Choose a side. Lara wants to set a gas bomb. The horrible smell will flush them out, safely sparing the yetis. There is the risk, however, that the yetis will just come back. 
Decker. Exterminate the Yetis by placing a nuke deep in the cave. It will permanently change the delicate ecosystem and upset the scientists who hired us. The future human settlements will be safe. Um, I know that these both have, like, separate tech trees where, like, you get points for one. And then you spend those points for, for upgrades. And to me, it would seem like you probably just want to be consistent so you can get to the deeper parts of each of one or the other's tech tree. That's my thought. Um, it also just depends on how sinister Bilksor chooses to be. Like, the obvious choice for me is, like, of course we don't need to screw up the environment of this place. But, you know, it's just saying, oh, the Yetis will just come back. It's not like the Yetis are a particularly huge threat, though. We just build some bunkers and we keep them, you know, essentially wrangled into whatever location we want to keep them, similar to what we've done with the Lyotes. Um, whereas, again, it just depends on... It almost kind of just depends on the viewpoint of the creator, which we won't know until later. Which is like, again, the Paragon versus the Renegade choice. If you just think like... Well, the ends always justify the means, and that's just sort of my worldview in a general sense. Um, then you probably just want to pick Decker, who might just have cooler upgrades, right? Um, I'm tempted, I think, to go with Lara and try and stick with Lara as we go, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, obviously, if we can spare the Yetis, let's spare the Yetis. He'll remember that. I guess siding with a robot over a person is, you know, a thing. You've made the logical choice. Arm the gas bomb deep within the cave to limit ventilation and maximize its potency. Okay, now we are on the larger micro section. So I'm going to make a hard save. That's, yes, Life Force Mission 1 Genesis. And when we come back, we will play this portion. Am I crazy to think that there was a, a Yeti hero? There was a Yeti hero, wasn't there, at some point? Also, I like the save now flash. Um, I would recommend the creator reach out to some other folks in the community who have figured out how to make autosaves work. Uh, I don't know the specifics of that. Similarly, getting stuff on the arcade and getting saves to work on the arcade as well. This is like a big, this is a big deal uh, that people have been able to do this. So I, uh, I would love to see that knowledge spread around. And I don't want to overthink the Lara Decker choice, but I am pretty confident that when you pick a path to start going down, you should probably pretty consistently stick with that path. Just because you want to maximize the points to get as far down into, like, the super talents as possible. I don't 100% know if that's how it works, but I'm going to guess that is. That's generally how tech trees tend to work. Uh, okay, well, hey, thanks everyone for watching. Exciting to see Life Force back. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.